I know you're meant to film with the window in front of you, but that side of the room is messy and my bed isn't made. Hello and welcome to Vida Day 16. Hey guys, first of all, let me say woohoo, day 16. Well, we're halfway there. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me and I'm really glad that people are enjoying the stuff that I've put up. Also, I want to apologise for yesterday's Vida being late. I did try to upload that about 10, 11 o'clock. Normally it takes about an hour, but instead it took 12. Anyway, for today's Vida, I'm going to be talking about something which sort of carries on from the ideas I spoke about in my Why I Want to Teach Vida on day nine. In that video, I spoke about the quote, hate is taught in the silence of teachers, which is a big part of why I want to be an RMPS teacher. And if you're interested in hearing more about that, I explain it all in the video and I'll link the video in the down bar. But basically the idea is that being an RMPS teacher would give me a platform to educate people on different cultures and different ways people think about life in general. And therefore, in a little way, teach a tolerance to other people, to my students. Because I believe that being educated on different topics makes you more tolerant. In the video, human sexuality is complicated. Hank Green says, understanding leads to less hate and even less self-hate. Understanding comes from education and that is why I think that PSE and RMPS are very, very important subjects in school. As those are subjects which primarily teach about human life, human beings and the way we think. He also speaks about how we have came to like labelling people and putting people in boxes as a way to make human life simpler to understand. And when people don't fit into these labelled boxes, others tend to get confused and even angry. Which is a major, major, major problem. Because none of us ever fit into these boxes. So everyone is just confused and angry at themselves and at each other. This video is basically to tell you that being different is okay because normal doesn't exist. And yes, I am aware that the ideas which I've expressed and the things that I've said do seem a bit cliched and overdone. But the fact of the matter is, things are cliche for a reason. It's because they are relatable or good ideas or they're things that need to be said. And people need to know that being different is okay. I could go on forever, but I'm going to end this video here. I'm thinking of making a series on this sort of thing with topics such as sexuality and religion and physical appearance. Basically embracing how wonderful it is that we are so different and diverse as people. So if you'd like that, leave me a comment, I guess. Wow, so profesh. Anyway, thank you for watching Vida and fucking love yourself for being different. Bye.